Hello and welcome, I'm Russ Rogers and today I would like to introduce you to my R&B Bassline series with this fun to play R&B line in the style of some of the artists from the 1970s. A lot of the R&B songs from this time period had some really cool and fun bass lines. We will first go through the line note by note to get the fingering and count down, then we'll rehearse the line with a play along track, first at a slow tempo, then at a medium tempo. So get your bass out and tuned up and we'll get started. If you need help getting set up and or tuned up, please check out my free and premium videos on these subjects. Let's first check out the fingering and count for measures one and two. Okay, our first note of measure one is going to be a third finger fifth fret note on the A string. Our next note is going to be a first finger third fret note on the D. Going to a second finger fourth fret note on the D. Back to the third finger fifth fret note on the A to a first finger third fret note on the A, then to an open A. Then we're going to a third finger fifth fret note on the last note of measure one that'll tie into the first note of measure two. And then we follow that with another third finger fifth fret note on the A string to two first finger third fret notes on the A string to two open A's, to a first finger third fret note on the A string, back to an open A. All right, uh, measures one and two slowly with a count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now for measures three and four. Okay, measure three is really just like measure one. So going from the uh, first finger third fret note on the A, one and two and three and four and one, just like we did before. All right, so the Next note after the tied note in measure four is going to be another third finger, fifth fret note on the A string. And then reach your first finger to the second fret on the D string for the next two. Then bring the first finger up a fret to the third fret on the D string for the next two notes. And then winding up measure four with a second finger fourth fret note on the D string. Then now take us into measure five with a third finger fifth fret note on the D. Okay, let's do measures three and four slowly with a count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Let's look at measures five and six. All right, first note of measure five is gonna be a third finger fifth fret note on the D string. To a first finger third fret note on the G. To a second finger fourth fret note on the G. To a third finger fifth fret note on the D. To a first finger third fret note on the D. Then to an open D back to the third finger fifth fret note on the D string, which will tie into the first note of measure six. The second note of measure six is again going to be a third fret, excuse me, third finger fifth fret note on the D. Then to two first finger third fret notes on the D. To two open Ds. Then to back to the first finger third fret note on the D and then winding up measure six with an open D. All right, measures five and six slowly with a count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Time for measure seven and eight. All right, measure seven is just like measure five, um, except it doesn't tie into the next measure. All right, so it's gonna be again, one and two and three and four and. So 
just use your same fingering, you know, and obviously the same count. All right, uh, first thing's happening in measure eight is rest. So we don't do anything on the actual first beat, but on the upbeat of beat one, we have a first finger second fret note on the A string. Then uh, a rest on beat two, and then take the first finger up to the third fret note on the A string for the next note. Then a rest on beat three. And then the next note's gonna be on the upbeat of three, which will be a second finger fourth fret note on the A string. Then a rest on four. And the upbeat of four is gonna be the same note again, second finger fourth fret note on the A string. And you'll make these notes in measure eight short too. All right, measure seven and eight slowly with the count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, which you'll take that third finger to the fifth fret on the uh, A string to start, to start the line over again. Now let's do the whole line slowly with the count. Three and four and one and two and 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 three and four and one. Now let's do the line with a slow tempo track. One and two and three and four and. Okay, let's do it with a medium tempo track. One and two and three and four. And Thanks for spending this time with me and I hope you enjoyed learning this bass line.